Jackson County Today. Hot topics, relevant stories, and new developments that affect our community. How does the budget for Jackson County get decided each year? Each department develops its own recommended budget and presents it before the budget committee in a public hearing. Department presentations give us detailed insight and understanding of the services being provided to the citizens of Jackson County. The public hearings for 2023-2024 were recently held and each department presented its recommendations. One of the questions I get asked the most is, has the airport recovered from the pandemic? And the answer is not completely, but we're pretty close. 2022 saw our second highest passenger numbers ever in MFR history with 1,015,000 passengers. That puts us just 7% below our 2019 record. Nationally, the average airport recovery from COVID, as you can see up there, is only at 80%. We are currently averaging about 35 flights per day, which is down from last year, but we still have 12 direct routes and those 12 destinations are just being served with less frequency than we had before. This past year, the airport completed our runway seal coat and lighting project. In connection with that pavement work, we upgraded all of our runway lights to LEDs. And I know it's hard to believe that air traffic control tower is already due for a remodel. The airport is expecting a grant that's gonna pay for updates to that tower. It will modernize and replace our operational systems and replace the elevator. And then finally, we are starting work on a terminal area plan, the first step toward our much anticipated terminal expansion. The environmental work has been done, and this plan will lead us into the design phase once it's approved by the FAA. The correctional facility, uh, we were able to return to pre-pandemic capacity. We're averaging about 290 uh, adults in custody per day. Um, we were able to keep the basement open and that capacity despite significant sta uh, staffing challenges this past year. And you can see we're up uh, almost 1,200 from the previous year. So certainly during the pandemic and the jail was at reduced capacity, we saw a reduction in lodgings and certain law changes for sure, uh, but we're starting to creep back up and we're on pace to, to exceed that this year already. We're probably on pace right now to be at about 10,000. Reduce the amount of illegal marijuana grows in Jackson County. 2021 was a kind of a banner year for illegal marijuana in our county. And uh, through a lot of work and collaboration, we were able to change some legislation, get laws changed that were beneficial to our community. We did hire 29 individuals across our agency in 2022. So, you know, even though we're short staffed, we are hiring at a pretty rapid rate. That's over one person every pay period. So uh, with, with our requirements of, of testing, uh, interviews, backgrounds, psychological exams and all things, that's a, a pretty good rate. Um, and this year we we're on, we'll have a goal to hire even more. Just an overview of our budget. Our revenue is $2,042,266. Our general target fund was $6,266,613, with our total expenditures being $8,308,879. We have 54 FTEs, 23 of those are attorneys in the budget. We currently have 18 attorneys. Um, so we are facing a bit of a challenge with uh, recruiting and we, we're working on that. That's not just a Jackson County issue, that's a statewide issue for prosecutors. The last time I checked, there were openings for over, um, I think it was 47 prosecutors in the state of Oregon. Our key accomplishments in May of 2022, we were able to really enter into an agreement that's not seen anywhere else in the state, and I would probably say across the country, and that is we've created a collaboration between the Department of Human Services, Child Welfare, the, the Pathfinder Network, which provides our support services, and our parole and probation officers, and we're all co-located in one building where we're providing services to women that are um, justice involved. And the other uh, sort of very visible project we're doing is we're um, replacing the software used to manage the county's website, so the content management system that it's built on, as well as doing a general refresh of the website. And that was a project put in this year's budget to resolve some accessibility problems. There were some issues with our current website not being meeting ADA requirements for visually impaired people, things like that. So that's going to be fixed in, in this go round, And also just giving it a fresh look. The county's website hasn't really changed in the last seven, eight years. And looking a little stale. So um, we're going to be uh, doing a, a refresh of the look and feel as well to make it more uh, search friendly and more mobile friendly. <laughs>